Okay, and we're back. And a happy new year to all of you. Far out. That year just rolled past so quickly. Let's have a look. And keep all that. Anything else here I can use? Okay, actually, before we start, I will run through what my plan is for today. So, if you look through our journal, you can see that we're actually pretty close to... I mean, we've busted up the Iron Throne, and once we hand this quest back in to uh, to the Duke, the story kind of, kind of runs away on its own. So, this is probably the best point to really engage in some of the uh, some, some of the expansion content. So, Olgoth's Beard, Durlag's Tower, yes, so could be fun. That's our plan for today. Um, these are some pretty nasty encounters, so it'd be good for us to have plenty of, yeah, options. Mm -hmm. Anything here? I could grab a couple more of these. They're great. Uh, we shouldn't need it, actually. Not yet. Durlag's Tower, we'll want that. I don't think we're going to get our, um, uh, it's all very nice, but no. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get our next level up. Oh, no. We should do. Anyway, enough indecision. We'll make it work. To remind it around our spells, we've got this single sequencer that can fire off basically a, a one-target disabler. Beautiful thing. So we can basically wipe the, sequ the sequencer from our spell book and still keep that when we sleep. Um, which would be good. Spirit armor. That would be pretty handy. Saving throws. Yeah. I want to get Blur up and happening again. Blur is level 2. Invisibility. Web. We really need more level 2 um, slots. Uh, we'll hold off on Blur. If I had to choose between these, I would, I'd would i keep Blur. And I want to have a second invisibility. Um, I think we can basically call that our standard loadout. Although maybe a magic missile could be handy. But then our enemies are shielding pretty regularly, so not really. Um, happy with that, happy with that. I'm going to ditch Minor Globe of Vulnerability, because that only covers us up to level 3. Admittedly, it's complete vulnerability for as long as we have it up. But the level below, we have just Deflection, which covers us all the way up to level... Seven spells, so four spell levels. So usually it's basically the same thing. I mean, there are lots of... Okay, spells are complicated. I'm trying to simplify here. I'm going to save us a spell slot here. <clears throat> Pardon me. And... Uh, two hours, that's not bad. I think we're going to go with... A way to break through spell defences. Because we're liable to encounter that pretty soon. In fact, I think haste is going to get knocked off. And we're going to go with remove magic. Because we're liable to encounter spell defences. Hmm. Chaos has a minus four penalty. It's not bad. Let's, um... Let's try that. The problem I find with Sunf Sunfire, it's a good spell for a solo class, because the only real, essentially the fireball that happens on you does lots of damage, um, but in, in a party you're going to hit your friends, but with us we don't have any friends in the game, I say, and then cry into my pillow. Um, I'll just rest here, and then we'll rock on. So yeah, Sunfire is a good spell, well, but I think we'll try Chaos and see how that goes. Alright, take us to Olgoth's Beard. This one's going to be pretty tight, actually. Chandelar. I know of you. You are of an odd countenance. And I can count pretty darn high, too. Pretty sure countenance is either your clothing or it's your poise. Hmm. I have need of you. What do you say to this? Okay, how can we help? Okay. 
you will need time to prepare. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. So he's teleporting us to an island. We're looking for his cloak. That's basically what the conversation was about. Ooh, polar bear. I think he has a lot of hit points. Let's see how we go with a backstab. It's a good hit. Run, 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 run. Be great if we could stealth here. If not, we'll use an invisibility spell. Nope. He is not crossing the section here. Deary me. He's probably right there. So I think if we web here. Okay, that was actually a really bad idea because we've now blocked off half the island to us. There's a good chance we get through. Although, although, yes, we have this. We lose our fast movement speed, but now we can get free hits on this guy. Just need to poison him once. Save a spell and death. Let's blind him. Just in case this doesn't work. So he's got a pretty high constitution. So his save versus poison is really high. Remember, we're using the uh, dagger of venom. Whoa. So he's blinded, but still got still hit us. We need to break out. Man, he is engaged. Okay, that's good. Let's stab him one last time. And one more time beyond that. That's a save a spell. Yep. Gotta watch that log. Okay, we need to jack up our stealth scores a bit. Deary me. What if we stand in the shadows a bit? And get rid of this ring too, because it does slow us down. Wheel of speed for later. It's a ward stone. So we can get home. Hmm. Hmm. Magic abounds. Uh, what have we here? Winter wolves. They have a nasty ranged cold attack, which we could use potions and scrolls to survive. Let's do that. Uh, we've got a scroll of cold protection, don't we? Yes, we do, which gives us a 50%. So I think we use that. Hmm. I've got a potion too that will work. Potion of cold resistance. Only one though. Last for two hours. We'll be fighting cold here more than anywhere else, really. So I'm prepared to use it here. Drink the potion. And. That's our cold resistance is now 50%. And now it is 100%. So if we can keep these things at range, that will be good. Let's do some buffing while we're here. And spirit armor. Vita mortis cario. I think that means life, death, I have or don't have, or... I've lost. 
for necromancy spells. You can sort of tell what school the spells are if you, um, there we go. If you listen to what the Latin is, but I don't know about you, but I'm a bit rusty on Latin. Beautiful. You reckon he saw us? Yep. Okay, use your cold attacks, we're immune. See if we can keep him using cold attacks. He'll want to. Complete immunity. Beautiful. I think we're going to regard anything in this room as hostile. Andrus, well, well, well. I sense the ripples and there you are. But something new. Tell me, friend, how come you to this place? I was sent by Chandelar. So they've been snared here. You can't leave by magic. You seem quite at home here. Deceptively so. What is it you want from me? What do I want? What do I want? To be free of this place. It does not matter whether this place is a joke, a test, or an odd phenomenon. I need more power to escape. If you would kindly strip off your belongings, I would be ever so grateful. Hmm. I have the means to leave. Perhaps we can work out a deal. Nope. Okay. We need to break up their spell casting if we can. So I think a fireball is the name. Good bit of damage. In fact, Marcellus is here all on his own. Well, I think some summons. Don't have haste, do we? That's all right. I'm going to go invisible, and I'm going to search for illusions. This means I should be able to break through his. Should be able to break through these illusions that are happening. Do we have our cloak? Oh, <laughs> let's put on the cloak of, yes, non-detection, whispers of silence, otherwise they can break through my spell. Save a spell, panic, wow, two horror spells, gee, that's a bit of a worry, I hadn't realised that was possible. Let's hop in here and try and break this illusion. We should be able to dispel illusions as they come. There we go. Marcellus. We could take him out of the fight with one backstab, I think. Yep, he is vulnerable. <clears throat> Let's do that. I'm reckon, actually, I'm going to put some traps down. Whoa. That's a problem. I think we're going to try and wait until that summons out. And I'm not sure how long Summon Earth Elemental lasts. But I would... Well, you know what? We, we have... We're going to come back after we've done a detrapping of this entire area. <laughs> Holy crap. I reckon there's one here too. 10, 9, 8... There we go. It's game designer logic. We'll just let all their spells time out. And we'll do some trap finding. And we can see how many other things are going to be out here. Winter wolves. Kuchol. Kuchol. That sounds like Gaelic to me. Because it would be Kuchol, I'd say then. Hello there. Oh, 
all their pretty buffs are going to slowly and steadily disappear. Hey, Garan. This does look familiar to me, actually. Very similar layout to um, some of the other dungeons. That's one area they definitely improved in the in the sequel is the dungeons are so much more intricate and unique, not just you know grid patterning like this, which doesn't look too bad if you ask me. Let's check and see how their buffs are going. Yeah, steadily coming out. How's our Earth Elemental? He's still there. That's a big nope from me right there. Okay. Let's just keep searching as we go. So yeah, that's a nasty spell, that one. Let's disarm that trap. Once again, sorry for the for the great big um, safe scum that I, I do when it comes to traps, but otherwise, to reliably avoid all the traps in Baldur's Gate, yeah, I'm walking at a snail's pace and you don't want that. Maybe you do, but I don't want that. If I can find that mod, which means trap searching happens in real time, not every six seconds, things might... Invisibility purge. But we have... So he, he knew something was there. That's really cool. So S, this is what um, SCS does. I've mentioned it before, but just, yeah. This is not how it normally works. Detect visibility. Which would have worked, but we had that cloak on, which is pretty good. Pretty sure this corridor has some kind of trap on it. I'll just walk through until I trigger it. Yep. <laughs> so you imagine if your party is stacked behind you, what that what that does to you. If I remember correctly, Durlag's tower has a lot of traps too. Trap not disarmed. Trap not disarmed. I think we need a better potion. So it isn't like a dice roll, I believe you have to hit certain thresholds. We almost bought some more of these. Uh, Master Thievery. Doesn't include traps, we have to use the potion of perception. Ah, I didn't know that. So every time you play, you learn something new. Gulp. Trap disarmed. Quick save. Lots of wolves. Okay. So we've basically swept all the traps from this area. Let's roll on back and deal with some of these mages. I think that Earth Elemental, I'm just going to have to evade it. And we're pretty fast. I can take out one mage with a good backstab here, I think. Jeez, did he have... Run, 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 run. He's trying to slow me. I outrun the spell. There's the Earth Elemental. There's Bane. And they've blocked the entrance because the Earth Elemental is huge. We are in trouble. I think I can probably... Second, I can get past.
Run, 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 run. We're blocked in again by buggy Earth Elemental. Can we not get past? All right. Bane, what have you got defending you? Stone skin. Well, I know how to break through that stone skin. There's a particular way to do it. And it's with this spell. Minute meteors. And a remove magic. Either will work, really. Still got some spells. Oh, has he got spell turning? He does. I believe that will deflect these. Oh, that might not be good. Let's try. Oh, yeah. Quickly break through his defenses. Uh, that's spell protections. Got seven hit points, and he's just got armor on, so we should be able to just take him up with arrows, honestly. Smack him. Okay. One down. I think it's worth a rest. That would have been the acid damage, perhaps. Oh no, it's our, that's our spirit armor. So when spirit armor times out, here we go. Um, there is a chance that you will take two d four damage, but when you cast it, you should see a saver spell. So if you don't, that means you'll take the damage, which is yeah, not much. So it's okay. It'd be good if we could just sneak. There we go. Thank you. Okay, that elemental's gone. He's headed back to the plains. Massilius has healed. And he only has ghost armor. So he's probably ripe for a backstabbing. And he's on his own. Never do this. Never. I was going to say never be on your own. But then again, that's our whole playthrough. And he's dead. Sorry, that was a discord notification let's uh, deal with the other guy honestly two damage remaining and dead skis contingency oh invisibility we have a solution to that visibility so now we can win the invisibility battle because we're, we're invisible and non-detectable, but we're also looking for tr looking for him. Actually, where the hell did he go? He's not on my radar anymore. Interesting. All right, well, let's go and deal with the other characters. I think. Mm, I think we may as well strike first. I think we're going to be dealing with opponents that are maddened and magical and it's just not safe to yeah i'm gonna just butcher everyone i find here oh one idea i had too and I, I should put this at the start of the next episode so it's more obvious but i'd like to have a vote later on about changing our alignment a character started off as kind of this naive you know lawful neutral just follow the rules kind of character you know, generally good but he's been ambushed and attacked a whole heap and done some crimes so potentially there's an argument that we could change our alignment either in its lawful chaotic range or in its even good or evil range and I would find that interesting really not good uh, hi Your friend yeah hey Telen Altrua the shining light of Tether 
and you shall you I shall call Buttercup. It's interesting. I used to work in a hospital, and I had a fr- friend. She was a nurse, and she used to always say, "What's up, Buttercup?" So that was my nickname at work too. And I partly wish I hadn't said that now. Anyway. Oh, he's friendly. I knew I knew he'd be friendly, didn't I? All right, let's see if Tellian can break this guy out. So he'll follow us. Let's see if we can get him to expose. Oh, we're not invisible anymore, are we? Where is this mage? He's doing the very clever thing of not saying where he is. Okay. Let's pop around here. I think we're still going to keep our... Well, we can't murder people now, can we? Because we know that some of the times they're going to be friendly. That's eight hit points on that one. Let's put an arrow in him. <laughs> Takes us back. Back in the old days when our only good tool was running and firing our short bow. It's good enough for Genghis Khan, it's good enough for me. Shank. Thank you. Not sure where our gnome friend went, but then again we did run away. Let's see if we can get Kukol to react. I'm actually going to do some traps though. Just in case, that way we can run back to cover. Also got that disabler as well. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. Please don't kill me. Please, please, please. Relax, friend. We've got no reason to harm you. And totally weren't plotting to just backstab you with our dagger of poison. <laughs> Scourge of Lachon. Ravisher of Serch. Even with my fell powers, I cannot escape. Oh. I think we we can't give him the ward, and he seems quite mad. That's cold, don't you see? Okay, let's trigger our contingency on him. He's panicked. And he has normal missiles, armor, and stone skin. Oh, well, let's run him through. That's trap number one. Trap number two. He should be right here. Well, that broke through his. That's perfect. Well, we can probably just take him up with arrows now. That spooks pretty short duration spell. I would assume there's some spellcasting goodness happening here. Well, I know he's a spellcaster. He's... Is he restone skinned? Hard to tell through that effect. Yes, he is. So we actually need a better solution now. I think we can use a... Remove magic spell. Perfect. Now he's ours. Ah, brilliant. Another one of these. Yeah, okay. Wands of Fear, not really a fan of. Wands of Ice are good for single target damage. This is a good item to have. Scrolls. Force Missiles. So enemies that don't have the shield spell... This is like a supercharged magic missile. And we've got a... Oh, we have to start using these. I think actually I'm going to just turf these. Oh. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I didn't see that happening, but you did. 
Let's quickly read and copy all these notes down. And turf them here, make a little fire. Every now and again you have to do a big clean out of all the little letters you've found. These are mostly love letters from our bounty hunters from before. I figure just in case there's something good in here. Jurassic. Ah, oh, yes. And this is excellent. Wand of Paral Paralyzation. How many of these do we have? One. Two. I wish we could use this. Look at that. I wish I'd spec large swords, but you know. Three. We've got three Wands of Paralyzation. So long as we leave one for the very end, I'll be happy. Ah, we've got the fourth one. Excellent. They're a very, very powerful. Where is Andrus? He was the guy who hid from before. Hang on. Just want to make sure who's the guy I'm looking for. Marcellus. Andrus. So we're seeing him on the radar again. Let's do some narrowing in. He is up here somewhere. I'm tempted to go and have a sleep, actually. Let's do that. That'll reduce his spells, but also will give us a chance to re-engage at an advantage. Okay, simply invisibility. Okay, now we should be able to find this guy. There he is, Andrus. I think shield normal missiles. That's okay, we can get through those. I think we're going to put this on for the extra save for spell. And deflection. And I think one of these, just in case. Should be able to take him out now. If we can land that poison, he is cactus. Nearly. 12 damage. Visibility. We can make that work. Can we find you? Oh, he can see us. We're not invisible. Now, what's he got? Andrus. Stone skin. Yeah, okay. He managed to get his buffs up. Okay, and probably launch a spell to wipe those. Ah, uh, no, we have to thrust, spell thrust first. Which means we need line of sight, which is a problem. So spell thrust cuts out his spell protection. So right now, he's got Level of invulnerability, and these, the rest of these are uh, combat protections. Armor, shield, stone skin. Good. We got that out of the way. He's going to try and slow us. Which didn't work, because we have huge saving throws, both from our spells and because we're a halfling. I think now we should be able to wipe the rest of his defenses off him with a remove magic. Remove magic relates to his level though, so if he's a higher level than us, which he is, might not work. Uh, let's see. He still appears to be... Well, in that case, we could use Melf's Minor Meteors to break through his stone skin. And I think Summons as well. Let's do it properly. OK, 
Okay. Let's see if he burns some spells on the null. Oh, that's not good. Yes, he does. In fact, the fire damage is getting through. Remove effects, that's not good. So he removed our ability to hit him. We didn't break his stone skin. We have to run. Andrus has not much health, but his buffs are a real problem. And he just sequenced them all back. Honestly, you know what he hasn't got though is fire resistance. So I'm thinking, let's just take the simple route and nuke him. That did so little damage. How, how is he resisting all that much fire? Resistance to fire, 70%. That's the one element. Oh, and electricity. We could try and hit him with the cold rod. No. <laughs> He's got five hit points. He's just hanging on. What do we have that we can hit him with? We should have other ones, but at this point, ones are fire. I mean, we could just toss them until he dies. He's got five hit points. Is there anything slightly better? That he'll defend against. That might shatter him. Nope. Is this fire damage? Yes, it is. Um, I think, honestly, I think we're going to have to just shoot him with arrows until he dies. Oh, no. Forgot about them. We've got another one of these. Let's cut off his illusion with by looking at it really closely. The thief observes, picking out which is the real shape. Someone triggered a trap card. Oh, I have traps too, don't I? Uh, once we've broken through his illusions, which won't take very long. There it is. We should be able to hit him with traps. Stone skin's still up. My god. Yeah, okay. Fireballs it is. Well, it, it's not the right element, but it'll deal in a pinch. He has one hit point left. One. That will break his spell casting. Water elemental. Well, what happens when the mage who casts that dies? I think we've sent one more of these. This is the most wasteful I've ever been with a wand of fire. Now, I'm pretty sure that kills the elemental. Ooh, greenstone amulet. Andrus's journal. Hmm, <laughs> He is quite mad. Immunity, immunity to all... Oh, sorry, I need a stretch. Only lasts one turn, but will immune make you immune to all of these effects. Feeble mind. Many of these are just, like... Straight up will kill you the moment they land. Uh, I'm not sure if we would use it. Only one turn, and we can kind of defend against these things. Probably is quite good, really. We have magic. Keep that. Keep that. The rest we can just leave. Okay. Two of these down here. I think we can be really clever. We don't have our protection from cold anymore. Oh, that was well-timed. Now he'll get to his last known location, and then, no, they're going to keep searching. Yeah. 
We're moving at twice their speed. Where's the other guy? Oh, there's the elemental still there. Not great. And back into sneak mode. See if we can kill that other wolf without triggering the elemental, although I think positioning wise. Okay. Let us see if we can find our gnomish friend. I still feel like he's going to betray us. He is a chucklin. Don't like that. Three in here. Oh. Okay, we're going to trap this whole section here if we can. In for a wild goose chase, are we? But we're gonna use fire. There we go. Got him. Thanks for your help. Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> so we had um, Agonaza Scorcher running again. Sorry for the Discord notification. Um, and we ha it's, we're still tricking on his corpse, we couldn't really see it, but it burned him. So we need to... Skeletal warrior, that's really nasty. And he's attacking his own warrior, so we're going to just let him do that. What defenses does, does the warrior have? Well, he has spirit. Him... He's got three attacks per round and a really good armor class, and yet, yeah, see, I think this is a bit bugged out. Must have stone skin up as well. Apparently not. Just a really good armor class. Actually, this is good. We'll let him kill his own skeletal warrior. So skeleton warriors are hard for us to kill. Um, their only real vulnerability, I mean, you can kill them with physical attacks, but blunt weapons is the way to go. Um, which we could do, but we'll just let him, in his madness, take it out. I'm pretty sure Telan does betray you. Whoa, we are breaking stealth. We want to hop straight in there the moment he kills him. Let's do some looting. We're 
almost at the end, aren't we? There's just this, this one guy here we have to deal with. This is taking rather a long time. <laughs> Alright, we're going to help this guy out. He's taking too long to destroy his own creation. I've all, we've all been there, haven't you? When you've summoned something from the undead and then you can't f end it. There we go, that's how it's done. Stone skin, that's not great. Protection from magical weapons, that's a very high level spell. He is immune to damage. Is he casting? Fire shield. We'll take cold damage if we try and hit him. Wow, this little guy is pretty nasty. Uh, does he have anything to protect against being... He's a gnome. Let's try paralyzing him. Save us wand. Run skis. Minus spell turning. Okay, this guy we're going to have to really work. Work the problem here. I think we're better off resting. Can we rest here without getting ambushed? Okay. I think we want to stab him in the back. I know, surprising strategy, but it will work. This again. <sighs> he is punching him, it seems. Missile damage will be there for it'll be there for days. I'm going to just let this play out. Let's see if we can deal with D Dezekiel. Dezekiel? Logic says we should just backstab this guy. Yeah, I would at this point. Everything we've met here is turned hostile eventually. Good, he's poisoned. <laughs> he, still, he still talks as though he's a, you know, tough guy though. Now, now, now. Hello there. And who might you be? Another wayward spell singer looking for a way out. Tell you what, here's our riddle. We've stabbed you with a poison. If you let us pass, we'll cure it. Hmm. Yep, we're in combat. Thought so. More missiles. We can probably hit him with another arrow. Oh, he's, the poison will kill him. What a great weapon this is. And that's the cloak we have to grab. And we get the stone skin scroll. Life is very, very good. It's amazed how late we got this. Okay. You can read that later if you want to go back and pause. Stone skin makes us basically immune... To being hit by stuff. Now, how are we doing back here? We need to get rid of this skeleton. Tempted to go and help him again. Let's try it. I break away. I think if we grab that that cloak, we get teleported out. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Shike. Okay, run, 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 run. Hello there. Yes, you're all very, very scary. Yeah. Okay, he's got his club out. That's a bit better. We could still help him though, couldn't we? He's not fighting back. Okay, that will s rapidly speed the demise of his skeleton. Because it's a summon, we don't get any experience points for it, which is sad. So, 
His protection from magic weapons has gone off, which is good, but he's got stone skin and spirit armor, which is likely what we'll be using for most of the, most of the game coming up. I think we should be able to remove these if we are careful about it. Yeah, we'll fire it up this corridor, actually. That's a good way to do it. I could use more summons to help damage him. Perfect, lots of them. We want way to fire. So with enemies that engage from range like this, with um, enemies that, enemies that use a fire shield, we want to use our bow. Silenced me. That's nasty. You can't cast any spells. Minor spell turning. We're breaking through his stone skin, so you watch. In fact, I'm going to just run and let my summons wear down his... Now I'll help out. We'll be there soon. I saved. Okay, we have to chip through this quickly. How many layers has he got? Spell turning. Stone skin. That's the problem. The stone skin. We're not going to get through any spells now, even if we could cast. Skull trap. Oh, nasty. Did we just break through? Okay, so this guy does not mess around. Hey, we've I'm not silenced anymore. That's a good thing. Okay. Let's um. Hmm. We have to break through his spell protections. That's a spell thrust that will break through these. Nasty. Still got our cloak on. Let's make sure we're sneaking. That's another spell, skull trap. We may die here. I think we ran out of the area of effect quickly enough to get out. It's good to know. Okay, you've put yourself in a little box. I think we can probably. We still haven't done any damage to him, just so you know. I think web. Cloud kill. Held. Excellent. Excellent. And now he falls. Have we got our disabler? No, we don't. I think he's just moved into the room away from the effect. Well, fireballs? Or something else, something like chaos. That might work. Yeah, he hasn't got any spell defenses, so this might land. Should have fired it in a bit deeper, so he... Right now he's just camping out here, waiting for the spell effects to end. Well, it gives us time to do some healing. And traps. Let's fight that asymmetric war. 
Okay. I'd hope that we'd be able to hold him here and have the poison do its magic, but he's a shorty like us. Which means that... Yeah. If I had another cloud kill, I'd just fire it in here. In fact, I probably have a scroll of cloud kill or something. Fireball, that would do it. Stinking cloud is good for disabling mages. We can also skull trap him if need be. Yeah, let's actually, actually. Oh no, he's got a club. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Don't mind me. Stinking cloud works great against mages because they just have, usually have pretty low saves, unlike him, because he just walked straight through it like it was nothing. Um, let's see if we hit him with a fireball, what happens. That's pretty good. If he falls unconscious, he shouldn't be able to break this. To land unconscious. There we go. Okay, now. Okay, there goes his stone skin. You don't want to fall asleep in the middle of a mage fight. He's definitely harder than he was the first time I played this. What have we got? Staff Mace plus two. 2d4 plus 2. That's definitely better. So this is a one-handed blunt weapon. Now, these are weird. I don't truly understand how they work. I think it basically allows you to use your quarter staff weapon, weapon proficiency, which we don't have. We have the old blunt weapon sort of category system from the first game, but it's a single-handed staff. This would be brilliant. In fact, that's going to really, really help us out. Let's just check for a second, actually. Make sure it still counts as a thief weapon. Yep. It's very good. And... Put you away. Okay. Should we indeed take Chandelar's cloak? Oh, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, we're playing these sort of games. Polar Bear? Polar Bear? Boba Fett. Beautiful. That was worth doing all the same, wasn't it? Alright, let's get out of here. Cue the uh, Benny Hills music. Which, notably, I only know as a reference. I never actually saw the show. Chandelier's Cloak. We can't use it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's something weird here. There we go. And we get sent back home. Now, do we have to fight Chandelier? Yes, I can hide from a mage. I'm the sneakiest boy there is. Pretty sure he is... Is Chandelier evil or neutral? Because he's got a hooded coat. Which would make me think I could have that. Anyway. You return, excellent. A little worse for wear. <laughs> no, there aren't. We killed them all. I want to see if we can kill Chandelier, though. Let's have a quick nap among friends. Actually, I probably want to have my spell book reorganized for fighting him. Okay. Cloud kills would be great. Animate deaths. Animate death would be good too. 
Cloud Kill, we can't use that because we're in a friendly zone. I think two skeletons helping us out would be the best use of our spells here. That's good, that's good. Some more summons would be fine, although we've got to be able to break through spell defenses. One of those is fine. These are good because they can... Uh, just. These are good because they take out defenses up to level 8. Now he's liable to cast something really nasty. Deflection. That's going to be... Yeah, that's a good break there. I don't think we're going to be able to web him that well. Tempted to take a vocalize. I think we have that as, as a scroll. Yep. And the rest of these are going to be just horror spells, I think. We're not going to land anything. His saving throws will be through the roof. And I'm going to make a... Actually. Awkward. I'm going to make a sequencer. Cool. Oh, we can include these now. Hmm. I think two webs would be really, really handy. Web and spook. Just drop them on him out of nowhere. Or maybe we just have two spooks. I mean, he has to save against a negative six, or at least a negative four at this level, twice. Which I think might make all the difference. Although I think putting in two... Ah, sorry. I don't want the sequencer. I want the spell we had there, which was spirit armor. We've like slept for a couple of days just sorting out our spells to fight this guy. And we're going to have to just attack straight out. And stealth mode active. Stealth mode active. Chandelier is supposed to be really, really powerful. Yeah, we need to really land that first hit. Apologies for the save scum, but yeah. What's his armor class? Chandler, 181 hit points. He's a level 30. We're about to die. Armor class is negative 24. I don't think at the end of our game we're going to have numbers like that. Mantle. Yeah, we're not meant to, to fight this guy. Wait. Chaos. Good chance that'll work, actually. No. So how are we supposed to land that first backstab? Because that's kind of going to make or break this. Minus 24. We have to, we have to hit, do a critical hit to hit this guy. Okay, what I will do, I will experiment with this later on. I think it's just not going to happen. We're not supposed to fight this guy. Level 30. No. Nah. Although, hang on, it's a 1 in... It's 1 in 10 chance we do a critical hit. Because we've got the two we've got single weapon style. But then his save versus is so high, and he's got damage resistance up the wazoo. I'm not even sure what a wazoo is. How has he got damage resistance? Complete fire, crushing. Okay. See, this is kind of silly. I get SCS wants to make him tough, but that's just not, that's not, yeah. Okay, well. Maybe we can paralyze him though. Maybe a Wand of Paralysis could do it. Save us Wand. Yeah, okay. No. Not gonna happen. Let's hand this spell- hand this back in. Ah, oh, I'd love to find a way to make this work. I really, really would. It's slow.
Okay. We've got the really cool ones yet though. These have some magic resistance, but not a whole heap. Gotta be a backstab. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know it, you know it. But they've made a ridiculous enemy, and I want to know if we can defeat him. One in ten, it should be a critical. Stidichi, Pecto. One in ten, man. We roll a critical on an eight, on a 19 and a 20. Just gotta roll that sweet critical. No. And then what? Even, even if we do that, we have to somehow disable him. One lush. I, I think it actually is a one in 20. Critical miss, that was the one. Come on, baby. Alright, this is getting tiresome for me to do, so it's probably getting really tiresome for you to watch. Okay, we will leave this here. I'll make the cut. I'll just reload the save before we start the shenanigans. There we go. And that is... Yes, that's the right one. Let's hand the quest in. What I'll do, I'll make a save here. And we will later on come back here and try and kill him, or I'll make a special video. Yeah, so it was a pleasure, profitable venture. Excellent. Hmm, well, anyway, that's the first part of the expansion done. I think our next stop will be down to Durlag's Tower. So, uh, I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for joining me, and good to be back.